every this is, these are people uh, who worship in the care centers and today has been a home care rally who had the privilege of blessing you hallelujah so sit open your heart and uh, see how awesome our god is and what he can do in your life hallelujah Amen. be blessed greatly to be praised. Why not just lift your voice and worship him? He's an awesome God. My God is awesome. He can move mountains. me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. My God is awesome. He heals me when I'm broken. Strength when I'm weakened. Forever he will reign. Say it again. My God is awesome. He can move mountains. From the valley, the valley. Hide, me from the rain. hide me from the rain. My God is awesome. My God is awesome. He heals me when I'm broken. Forever He will reign. Lift your voice and say, My God is awesome. My God is awesome. Sing awesome. 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 It's awesome. awesome. Say it once again, my God is awesome. 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 My God is awesome. Savior of the whole world. Giver of salvation. Say once again that my God is awesome. Today I am in His grace. Praise His holy name. Lift your voice and say, God is awesome.
If we're clapping for the king, come on, let's do it well. Glory. Glory to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask that we take our Bibles and come with me quickly to two scriptures. By the way, let me celebrate the home care choir. That was awesome. Thank you. Now, why don't we set them up as a standing choir? <laughs> Thank you, choir. The Lord bless you. I'm reading from the book of Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes chapter number 8 and verse 4. I will also read another scripture in 2 Chronicles chapter 16 and verse number 9. First, let's read the one in Ecclesiastes chapter 4, chapter 8 and verse number 4. Where the word of the king is, eh? are you sure? Where is the word of God? Where is the word of God? Oh, they don't even know. The tabernacle of God is now with men. Does the word of God dwell in you? And so why didn't you ask, answer me? Where is the word of God? So you are a carrier of the living God. Everywhere you go, you carry God with you. Where the word of the king is, there is power. And who may say what Doors thou. I'm going to read Second Chronicles 16 and verse 9. For the eyes of the Lord they run to and throughout the whole earth to show himself strong on behalf of them whose heart is perfect towards him. Herein thou hast done foolishly, therefore, from henceforth thou shalt have war. That's not for you. You will not have war again this year. But help me tell your neighbor that is by your side, it is your turn. It is your turn. I'm bringing you a word I have titled, It is your turn. I thought you would celebrate the king. If it's your turn, do it with a shout. If it's your turn, do it with a shout. Father, we receive the engrafted word of God with thanksgiving in our hearts. And there are many who are in this morning whose turn it is to receive you into their situations. And I pray, God of glory, that no one will live here. No one indeed is allowed to live here the way they came. I ask God of heaven and earth that you will bless your word in such a way that this same word will become flesh and will dwell among them. And the people of God say a big amen. amen. Can you do something for me? Walk up to four people and prophesy to their lives. It is your turn. Four people, four people. Tell them, it is your turn. It is your turn. It is your turn. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Take your seats, the Lord bless you. Take your seats, the Lord bless you. The year 2015 is winding down so, is November our month of divine manifestation? In this audience this morning, there will be at least three categories of people. Three categories of people. Can we keep the children a bit quiet? The house is a bit noisy for me. Please. Thank you. 
Children, the Lord bless you. Children, shout a big hallelujah. All right. After that loud hallelujah, make no more noise. Is that all right? Okay. In this audience this morning, I have no doubt there are at least three categories of people. There are those who, like Habakkuk, will be crying, How long, O oh Lord, will my miracle tarry and delay? In other words, expectation of this year has not been met. They have waited and they have become like prisoners of hope. Their natural question is, O oh Lord, when will it be my turn to testify? Let me tell you, friend, it is your turn to testify. And say it with some, some little faith. Tell your neighbor, it's your turn to testify. And I prophesy on your life that you will not live here today without the definite touch of the Lord. The second category of people I believe will be sitting or listening or watching us online are those who have become indifferent because of the various experiences they have gone through. They have become nonchalant about God and His promises. For them, if it comes, fine. If it doesn't, well, it's all well and good. This is the group uh, Pastor IBK told me about. Says there is a man at time T. When you ask him, oh, how is everything? He will reply and say, hey, In other words, he's saying, We don't pass, we don't fail, we don't come out of class. It's the same. Nothing has changed. You ask him, you? He will say, hey, Kusiato. Eh? That language will change us from today. When men ask you, how are you? You will tell them, I am blessed. You will tell them, I am blessed and I'm highly favored. The third category of people I believe are before me this morning. And they are those who want an anchor of 2015. This year has been so colorful. The year has been so wonderful. The year has been so bombastic. And they are telling the Lord, Lord, let's do it again. The Lord is also here for that group of people. Whichever group you belong, whether you belong to the group of those who have become literally prisoners of hope, or those who, out of long wait, have become disenchanted, and you ask them, Baoni, and they say, Kosiato, that is changing today. Help me ask your friend, How are you? Answer him, I am blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to listen to me. There are two things. There are two things that go around every day. What did I say? Two things go around every day. Tell your friend, every day. 24-7. The first one that goes around is in 1 Peter. 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse number 8. I want you to listen carefully because he says this, 1 Peter 5, 8. Be sober, be vigilant, 
because your adversary, the devil, is a roaring lion, walking about, eh? what is he doing around? Seeking whom to devour. True or false? Oh, true. Do you know what? For those who are in his, in his kingdom, he, doesn't, he lives with them. So there's no for them to see at all. But for those who have become believers by faith, the enemy roars around, and I'm glad the Bible says he walks around seeking whom to devour. Let me tell your friend, he will never get me. Because it is my turn to shine. Because it is my turn to testify. The second thing that goes around, I'm sharing with you in 2 Chronicles chapter 16 and verse 9. And I want you to listen carefully to it. For the eyes of the Lord, they run to... What did they do? Eh? The eyes of the Lord does what? Eh? What does he do? He runs to and fro throughout the whole earth, including Abuja. And he shows himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect towards him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So two things go around every day. Every day you wake up, two things around you. The first one is, is Satan the devil. He's prowling around, he's seeking one to devour. If you're already in his kingdom, he has no business, he just... He just he places his legs on your head. But if you are a child of God, then you are a candidate for his assaults. You know what I like in these two scriptures? Church, the devil walks around. The eyes of the Lord run. Oh, they didn't get that. The, the devil walks around. The eyes of the Lord run. In other words, God is ahead of the evil one per time in your life. Jehovah is ahead of Satan in your life every day that breaks. If you fancy what God is doing, His eyes every morning that, that breaks, His eyes, they keep searching. They search. His eyes search. He goes round. He starts at the first row. Sees the governor. Looks at his heart. If his heart is right, as I will show you, he enjoys divine manifestation. You didn't, you didn't hear what I said? The eyes of the Lord, they just keep roaming. And then he roams. He looks at Her Excellency. They're not yet. Hello. Are you ready? I heard them say so now. He looks at Blaze's row. Okay. He gets to the third row and he skips. He gets to the fifth row. His eyes are running to and fro the universe and he wants to establish himself as a strong man. And then when he gets here, he sees the professor. He said, this man's heart is right. And then God begins to manifest in an unusual way in his life. Are you the professor? When the eyes of the Lord are running to and fro the universe, is God finding you a perfect man. His eyes are going round and he's still looking. He sees this lady. Is that your husband? For your sake, God will visit him. God looks at him and he sees his heart. He says, oh yes, this family has waited long enough. And he skips the other people. Skips. He skips. He skips. Then he gets to this man. The eyes of the Lord, they run to and fro the universe. And God is proving himself strong and mighty on behalf of them whose hearts are right with him. 
God doesn't go back. Then he keeps searching. He comes to this road. He comes to this row. You, 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 know, you know how you get it. When I come to your side, you just shout, it is my turn. Then God moves around again because his eyes, they run to and fro the universe. And he's proving himself strong and mighty and powerful on behalf of them whose hearts are right with him. God's eyes are running to and fro the universe and he's proving himself strong and mighty. The Lord comes to the next row. He comes to the next row. And he says, he is he's looking at them. He's looking at them. And he sees this lady. This lady that is shouting well. And God says, yes. He will get a miracle. And God moves to the next row. He moves to the next row. He has skipped this row because they were quiet. God is moving to this row. And God is saying, it is your turn. And God moves to this row. And he says, it is your turn. God moves to this row. And he says, it is your turn. God moves to this row. And says, it is your turn. We see, God moves to your row. And says, it is your turn. He comes to the back. He says, it is your turn. God comes here and he says, it is your turn. God comes this way and he says, it is your turn. If it is your turn, why don't you shout it? Church, what I just demonstrated to you is real. The eyes of the Lord, they run to and fro the universe. And God goes to the choir. God goes to the choir. And God wants to prove himself strong and mighty. And he looks at this girl and says, it is your turn. He comes this way. He sees this man and says, it is your turn. My friend. It is your turn. 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 The eyes of the Lord, they run to and fro the universe. And he looks at them on the gallery. God looks at them on the gallery. God looks at the children. God takes a look at the children and he says, it is your turn. And he comes into the assembly of his excellency and he says, it is your turn. He comes into the assembly and he says, it is your turn. He comes into the assembly and he says, it is your turn. He says, it is your turn. He looks at the visitors. He looks at them one by one. He checks their heart and he says, It is your turn. He says, It is your turn. The Lord is saying, It is your turn. Everything you have waited for, everything you have longed for, everything you are expecting, God is saying, It is your turn. He's saying, It is your turn. Our Father is saying, it is your turn. The one who cannot lie says, it is your turn. The Almighty God says, it is your turn. Why don't you grab it with two hands in the name of Jesus? Because it is your turn. It is your turn. 
It is your turn. It is your turn. It is your turn. It is your turn. It is your turn. It is your turn. And you know when the Almighty God is ready, there is divine manifestation around you. Oh, you don't get that. There is divine manifestation around you. There is divine manifestation around your life. Because it is your turn. Have you walk up to four people and shout, it is your turn. Tell them it is your turn. 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 Thank you, our Father. Thank you, Daddy. Daddy, we worship you. Now, sit down, church. Let me ask us a simple question. I know if it is your turn, shout, it is my turn. Do it louder now that it is my turn. It is my turn. It is my turn. Put it together for our king. It is your turn. Now listen to me, church. It's good. It's good to desire. It. It's good to wish it. It's good to claim it by faith. But I'm going to ask you a simple question. What does God look for in a man when his eyes are going to and fro the city of Abuja and he wants to establish himself strong and mighty? What is he looking for? What type of a man qualifies? There are seven things I have put on the checklist. The book of Psalms has the largest assembly of things pertaining to the heart. Because if you read that scripture quick, quietly, it says God is, wants to prove himself strong and mighty with whom, whose heart? Let me say, whose heart? Help me say, whose heart? Whose heart is perfect. So, the heart of the matter is a matter of the heart. The heart is central to whether or not it is your tongue. And I will run through very quickly. My time is almost up. I have a quick checklist here for you. God is looking for a someone man or woman. Someone. We cannot read everything, but listen to it. It says, blessed is the man. Let somebody say, blessed is the man. Who does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of the sinners, nor seated in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law does he meditate how? Is it your turn? Ask your neighbor, is it your turn? How do you walk? Let me ask him, how do you walk? The one God will stand still for, the one God will stop when his eyes are going like a torch and he stops suddenly for divine manifestation. It's that one who does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly. You can see the graduation. And when sin begins to gravitate over your life, what you do is to first walk into sin, and then you stand to see, and then before too long, you will sit down. May you never sit down around iniquity in the name of Jesus. May you never walk in the counsel of the ungodly in the name of Jesus. But I like verse 2. Verse 2 says, his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates how? Day and night, day and night. That's the man the Lord is seeking for. When he's beaming his satellite and he's looking at the hearts of men. You know, God does not see as we see. 
God sees as the living God. He sees the inner recesses of our hearts. He knows the intents and purposes of our hearts. And when he's, he's moving around with his touch, and when he gets to that heart, he sees that that heart is still walking. He's still standing. He's still sitting in the seat of the council of, of the wicked. God bypasses him and goes to the next person. Who does not walk? Who does not stand? And who does not, de- who does not sit in the seat of the scornful? The second category of men and women that God is looking for are the Psalm 10 verse 17 people. Psalm 10 and verse 17 people. Hallelujah. Psalm 10 and verse 17. Thou hast heard the desire of who? What is God looking for in a heart? Humility, humility. When God sees humility in your heart, is irresistible. The Lord, the Lord resists the proud, but he grants grace to the humble. When you are a very cocky man, you are a very arrogant man, you are an enemy of the living God. So when the satellite is beaming and God gets to your heart and checks that what is in your heart is not meekness, it's not humility. God simply moves to the next person. Help me tell your friend, he will not move to the next person. It is me, it is my turn today. It is my turn today. Number three man that God is looking for, number three man the Lord is looking for is the Psalm 15 verse 2 man. Psalm number 15 and verse 2. He that walketh uprightly, and walketh righteously and speaks the truth in his heart. You know, this is, this is a very tricky one. Many of us, we don't even verbalize lies. Before lies are verbalized, they are already conceived in the heart, isn't it? Huh? They are already conceived in the heart. So if your heart is already lying, like, like uh, Ananias and Sapphira, they lied in their hearts. And then they verbalized it, and it became their albatross. It became their Achilles heel, because they lied in their heart. Let me tell your friend, don't lie in your heart. If you don't lie in your heart, it will be difficult for you to lie at all. Number four is the Psalm 24, verse 3 and 4 man. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Huh? Who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? Look at verse 4. Let me see verse 4. He that has what? Yes and what? And yes what? He has not lifted his soul unto what? Unto vanity. And he has not sworn deceitfully. Is it your time? Is it your turn? Shout, it is my turn. But quietly, I ask you, I ask you, can you ascend into the hill of the Lord? Number five. Number five is the Psalm 66, verse 18, man. Psalm 66, verse 18. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will, will do what? Huh? He will hear me. If you regard iniquity in your heart, when the sad light of heaven is beaming and God is going around, his eyes are going to and fro. And you know the eyes of the Lord, they run. They don't walk. Satan walks. God runs. And when he gets to your hand, he checks it and sees iniquity there, he just simply passes. Do you know why you have stayed so long on this side? Is it getting clearer now? Why you have stayed so long on this side? Your miracle has eluded you. You have not been able to get the things that heaven has packaged for you. The eyes of God wants to prove himself strong. Is God mighty? Is he strong? Is he able? Can he do all things? Is there anything too hard for him? God's eyes, they run to and fro the universe and is looking for a heart. He's looking for a heart that is perfect towards him. Is yours? Number six. 
Number six is the Psalm 139, verse 23, man. Psalm 139, verse 23. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts and see if there be any wicked way in me. Hallelujah. When the eyes of the Lord are searching and he sees a man whose heart is broken, a contrite and a broken heart, the Lord will not overlook. So when your heart is broken and contrite, you can see that heaven cannot ignore you. Heaven cannot ignore you. Let me show you three characters in the Bible very quickly. When the satellite was going, it was going to and fro, and then God stopped. God stopped at them and manifested himself divinely. They were carriers of the word of God. The first of them i like to share is the lady they call Hannah. In the book of 4 Samuel chapter 1 and verse 9 to 17, we don't have time to read it. But in verse 10, you will see that Hannah was in bitterness of soul and prayed unto the Lord and wept so. Verse 11, and she vowed a vow. Let somebody say, she vowed a vow. She vowed a vow. And said, O Lord God of hosts, if thou will indeed look on the affliction of your handmaid, and remember me and not forget your handmaid, but we give unto your handmaid a man child, then I will give him unto the Lord all of the days of his life, and there shall no razor come upon his head. When... God was beaming his satellite. Hannah had gone to Shiloh several times. She had prayed for children. As she was praying, Penina was conceiving. So the prayer was answered for Penina, although it was Hannah that was praying. But one day, let somebody say one day. One day. Let somebody shout one day. And I prophesy that that day is today for you. 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 And she was praying. And Eli was sitting somewhere in the altar and said, Woman, are you drunk? Why are your lips moving? And then we can't see anything. Are you a drunkard? And you remember the story of Hannah. And Hannah said, My Lord, do not regard me. As one of the sons of Belial. For out of the abundance of my complaint and grief. Have I spoken unto the Lord. And a word came. Where the word of the king is. What is available. Let somebody shout power. 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 A word came from Eli. And Eli said. The Lord God of Israel. The Lord God of Israel. He said go in peace. The Lord God of Israel. Grant you the petition that you have asked of him. I stand in the office of Eli this morning. And I say to somebody in this meeting, go in peace. I say go in peace. Where the word of the king is, there is power. That is the word of the Lord. I say go in peace. 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 And the Lord grant unto you the petitions of your heart. We don't have time. The next one is blind Bartimaeus. In the book of Mark chapter 10. This man, the Bible recounts, and they came to Jericho. And he went out of Jericho with his disciples. And a great multitude of people. Blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the highway. What was he doing? Eh? Project it for them now. Mark 10, 46. 46 to 52. When he sat by the wayside, what was blind Bartimaeus doing? Eh? Are you sure? Is that what is written? Help me tell your friend, it is enough of begging. Begging is enough. You have begged enough. You have begged enough. You have begged enough. You have begged enough. 
the sunlight is beaming. And he got to blind Bartimaeus. It was a timid crowd. And he was shouting, Jesus, son of David. Jesus, son of David. Have mercy on me. What was blind Bartimaeus saying? It was, it was saying, it is my turn. Oh, you didn't get the joke. Blind Bartimaeus, all he was saying was that it is what? It is what? And then the satellite got there and found in his heart a man who was ready, a man who was penitent, a man who was available, and heaven stood still for him. Jehovah stood still and said, go fetch him. And when they brought him, he asked him a question. What will you have me do for you? And that's what he's asking me to ask you this morning. God is saying, what will you have me do for you? Because it is your turn. He's saying, what will you have me do for you? Oh, they are quiet. Let me move to the next row. <laughs> eh? And he says, what will you have me do for you? You shout, it is my turn. Ah. What will you have me do for you? What do you want me to do for you? Mommy is sleeping. What will you have me do for you? She has gone on the other side. Heaven is moving. The eyes of the Lord, they are from, running to and fro the universe. And he came to this room and he said, what will you have me do for you? Is it your turn at the back there? Is it your turn? Is it your turn there? Is it your turn here? There are some who want to receive. There is something I'm carrying on my inside this morning. If I were you, I would link up with it. What are you doing? What do you look for? What are you asking him to do for you? Is for you? Is it your turn? It is your turn. Shout it now. It is your turn. Is it your turn? God is moving. His eyes of the Lord are running to and fro the universe. And he's shouting, what will you have me do for you? What will you have me do for you? What do you want me to do for you? That is what he's asking this hour. And he's asking, what do you want me to do for you? All our visitors, Jesus came around you and said, What will you have me do for you? He's saying, What do you want? It is your turn. Shout it in a believing way. Come on now. Governor, what will you have God do for you? It is my turn. Hallelujah. My time is up. My time is up, but church, I feel like preaching today. Can I go on? The last man, the last man that heaven stood for, they call Obededom. Obededom in the book of 2 Samuel chapter 6, verses 1 to 12. Obededom was sitting quietly in his home. He was sitting in his home. He was sitting in his home. I don't know how to sing. There's a song, Who can help with that song? Eh? Oh, ye biri, 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 oh, ye call me, oh. Will you stand and sing that song? Choir, where are you? Where is the choir? I want you to keep standing. This gentleman was sitting in his home. 
and goodness and mercy came to meet him under his roof. The eyes of the Lord, they run to and fro the universe. And God is proving himself strong and mighty on their behalf. And the Ark of the Covenant was about to trip. And Uzzah held it with his hand. And heaven responded. Fire came down and consumed him. And David was angry. And David said, why will God do this to his people? Then, out of anger, he abandoned the Ark of the Covenant in the house of Obededo. Something that will change your fortune. Something that will change your future will be abandoned under your roof in the name of Jesus. Obedeo was he was just living his life. Obedeo was just living his life. Jay Jale, he didn't look for trouble, but something came under his roof. Something came under his roof. Something came under the roof of Obedeo. Something unusual came under the own, the roof of Obedeo. Obedeo became the envy of the king. How long was the Ark of the Covenant in the house of Obedeo? Three months. Three months and that was it. Three months. And you know what God did? Because Obedeo harbored the presence of the Lord in his home, the Lord blessed him. And all, let somebody say all, all, all his household, all the household of Obedadom were blessed because he did not chase away the Ark of the Covenant under his home. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished honorable members, I know that it is your turn. One quick way to get the obedient blessings is to open your home. Open your home for the home care. Home care program of this church. And you know in your heart you are willing to receive the unusual in your home. Just jump here quickly. Jump here quickly. Your home is available. You want to open your home for home care program. Just come. Come from the gallery. All of you come this way right now. I want to pray for you. Obededom, Obededom opened his home. He opened his home. You have a home. There's an accommodation that you have. You want to volunteer it as a place of fellowship for this church. Just come quickly. Come quickly. Come quickly. Come quickly. Come quickly. Come quickly. Come very quickly. It doesn't matter where you live. Any part of Abuja, just come. Just come quickly. Come quickly and volunteer your home like Obededom did. Obededom volunteered his home and God did something unusual for him. Is this all the people that are waiting for the manifestation? Is this all the people that are waiting for divine manifestation? Oh my friend, why don't you be wise and come? Why don't you be wise and come? Please be wise and come. Let's volunteer our home. Let's surrender our homes for God's presence. They brought the glory of God into the home of obedience. Thank you, our Father. For in Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. Amen. Tell your friend, it is my turn. It is my turn. I am the next obedient. So why are you sitting down there? Eh? You are the next obedient dumb. You are sitting there. And it doesn't come that way anymore. Eh? You have to be deliberate about it now. You have to be deliberate about it now. You have to be deliberate about it now. Hallelujah. Alright, all of you who are standing here. Can you go? Just, where is the governor? Take them away. Take them away because I want to make the next call. Please follow her. Oh yeah, I promise to pray for you. Just wait. Just wait, I want to pray for you. My Father Eternal, I pray for these ones who are connecting with the Obededom anointing. Give it to them. Give it to them. Give it to them. Amen. It is done. Go, follow the governor. Let's celebrate these Obededoms. These are the Obededoms. Follow her. Follow her. Follow her.
Hallelujah. I'm going to be making the last call because the eyes of the Lord are walking to, to and fro. So is Satan. Satan is also sprawling around every day, 24-7. Satan does not sleep. He does not slumber like our God. So he's on, he's on, he's on duty every blessed day that breaks. You have worked with him for too long. If I regard iniquity in my heart, when the satellite of God will be beaming, God will pass you by. From today, I don't want God to pass you by. And you want to surrender your life to Jesus? All eyes are closed, please. All eyes are closed. All eyes are closed. You want to surrender your life to Jesus? As the eyes of the Lord are running to and fro the universe, you want the eyes of the Lord to settle on you. Can I see your hand? Just raise your hand. Raise your hand this morning. In the gallery, please raise your hand quickly. Our time is fast spent. Where are they? Where are they? Please raise your hand. Raise them well. Raise them well. Raise those hands well and come quickly. Come quickly. Search me, O Lord, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And see if there be any wicked way in me. From this moment on, heaven's search light will settle on you. And you will enjoy divine manifestation. Divine manifestation. All who want to enjoy divine, uninterrupted divine manifestation. Please come quickly. Come quickly. Come quickly. I expect many more to come. I expect many more to come. Please come. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Please come. Please come. I'm going to pray for you specially. Please come very quickly. Please come quickly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are there any more who want to say, uh, from this moment on, I want to enjoy divine manifestation. Where the word of the king is, there is power. If you allow the seed of the word of God that is sown today to dwell in your hand, you are a God carrier. You are a God carrier. Are we expecting any more? Please come quickly. Please come if you want to join them. Why don't you come quickly? All right. Thank you. Those of us in front, can you say this short prayer after me, Lord Jesus? I know that I'm a sinner. I'm sorry for my sins. I want you to forgive me. I confess my sins. Please pardon me. Write my name in the book of life from this day on and forevermore. Amen. Father, write their names in the book of life. Make today a day with a difference for them. Because it is their turn. It is their turn. Amen. Follow pastor. Where are you? Open your eyes and follow them. Follow them. They will help you to understand what you have done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want everybody to rise. Please rise. Multimedia, will you please like to project for me Habakkuk chapter 3 and verse number 2 in the NIV translation. Habakkuk chapter 3 and verse number 2 in the NIV translation. I want us all to read it together. Are we ready? Are we ready? One, two, go. I have heard of your fame. I stand in awe of your deeds. Oh Lord, renew them in my day. In my time, make them known. But in wrath, remember mercy. Do you understand that scripture? Do you understand it? Other people's testimonies are what you have hung on. Your own testimony begins today. You know why? You know why it is your turn? Oh, you didn't hear what I said? It is your turn. It is your turn. You didn't hear what I said? It is your turn. In the name of Jesus, 
Lift those two hands above your head. Let me pray for you. My Father and my God, I want to thank you for this, your children, who have made up their minds that it is their turn. Oh Lord, we have heard of your fame. We stand in awe of you. We stand in awe of the testimonies that our fathers have spoken about. And this morning we are crying and we are saying, Lord, repeat them in our day. In our time, make them known. Lord, reveal yourself divinely, supernaturally, in the lives and circumstances of all worshippers this morning. Let it be unique. Let it be undoubtable. Let it be with proofs. In the name of Jesus. Lord, let it be with proofs. Let it be with proofs. Daddy, let it be with proofs. Daddy, let it be with proofs. And God's people shout the loudest. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. It is my turn. It is my turn. Praise the Lord. It is time for offering. And uh, we are going to do something... I'm told that the envelopes in our hands, we are using it for the first time. Am I correct? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We are going to pray for the envelope. Yes, we are going to pray for the envelope even as you rise up to pray. You pray for the envelope and pray for what you are putting inside the envelope. Newness of life you will receive in the name of Jesus. Put something in the envelope. Put something in the envelope. And also, okay, also there are two offerings we are going to take. There are two envelopes 